Okay, that, that right now represents four bags of sand, one bag of cement. So it's actually sharp sand and 20 millimeter ballast I used to put in there. And that's the last of it right there. I'm mixing another one bag of sand, one bag of sharp sand, and a half a bag of cement just to finish whatever I can get out of that there. I didn't want to mix the whole batch. So um, what I did first, got it somewhat level just with the stick. I'm gonna find my gloves. Take my headphones off for a second here. See if I can park this over here. Little mini tripods, just at the right height, I think. So I want a couple of gloves. This stuff, this cement really, really dries your hands out. So if you can avoid getting it on your hands, then uh, go right ahead. Put the gloves on. Now. I got some over there on the edge. I want to get some stuff in before I run out. I was thinking about leaving this gutter open for uh, water, water control. But since I'm I've got pieces here. They're, they're, gonna be, they're gonna be floating now. what that does actually but I think it's a good idea maybe knocks the stones down I want the juice to get on the sidewalls really really good so it's really sticking on those sidewalls Needed to, if you live someplace where there's so much water, you really needed it to slope somewhat. You have to think about that while you're doing this. I'm not actually, it's not on my train of thought really that much. I'm mixing right now, it's just on the dry. Mixing dry, so I'm just gonna go add some water to it now. Hopefully that was an interesting exhibition there. 